I'd like to introduce you to my forte piano, to forte pianos in general, how they're different from modern pianos and from harpsichords, a little bit about how they're built and their history, and you'll hear some sample music that I play on it. So what is a forte piano anyway? Uh, if people come to my place, they see I have a harpsichord on the one side, and then I have this, and they say, so what, do you have two harpsichords? And I say, well, no, this is a forte piano. So the next question is, what's the difference between a piano and a forte piano? Uh, the piano was invented in the early 18th century by an Italian harpsichord builder by the name of Bartolomeo Cristofori. And the idea of this mechanism is that harpsichords have quills, plucking strings. Uh, the piano has hammers hitting strings, so the faster the hammer is moving, the louder the, the dynamic of the note that's being played. That's the disadvantage of the harpsichord, that you can't adjust the dynamics. Uh, so the original name for the piano was Cravi Cembalo, called Forte Piano, which is basically a, a harpsichord, because they didn't know what else to call it, that does both loud and soft uh, by virtue of this hammer. But this word forte piano, which basically means any precursor to the modern piano, modern piano dating from about 1870, uh, that means that forte piano basically covers 130, 140 wor years worth of technological What change. exactly is different about this piano? What's it made of and how does it work? Obviously, this forte piano is smaller than the modern piano. Its range is only five octaves, from F to F. On the forte piano here, there are only two strings per note for most of the range, whereas on a modern piano, most of the range has three strings per note. On a forte piano, all the strings in the bass are parallel to one another, whereas on a modern piano, they're crossed. Cross strings are good to bring all the sound into the middle of the soundboard and resonate together richly. Parallel strings are good for clarity. The damper pedal is operated by the knee, which lifts the damper rail off of the strings. There is what we would call today a soft pedal, or in old terms a moderator, and it's operated by this lever. It brings a layer of felt between the hammers and strings, creating a much quieter sound of an ethereal quality. strings, two strings, one string, and as we discussed before, they have the moderator that puts the cloth between the hammer and the string and gives this muted, otherworldly sound. And what better way to use that than Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata? The reason 
things, and again that they do, is that here is this, this large, powerful instrument that is endeavoring to carry the tone for a long time, and I'm cutting it off in the middle of its singing. Uh, I'm sure there are people who think da di da di da da is, is more expressive than but it's absolutely there in the score and it really is in my in my opinion the essence of Mozart you know there are sketches of Mozart and there are incomplete scores of Mozart um, the piano concerto 537 he didn't even bother to write in the left hand but there's never a single bar without these articulation slurs because they are what makes the music speak. And that's what they thought in the 18th century, that music is like speech and it must be inflected properly. <laughs> 